So hello everyone and welcome back to Blender for Games and as you can hear I'm pretty pretty stoked for this episode because the support was through the roof like I can't thank you as much as I want to because, uh, for the support like you guys are amazing we ended up on the front page of Polycom people are like talking discussing uh, a lot of like really good developers are like we want to learn it for fun I, I don't know did I mention it already in the video but no matter what we're gonna i don't know what i'm seeing right now i'm pretty pretty hyped so let me just go to the point and say today we're gonna do the same topics like for uh, unreal engine so pretty much origin and shading scale lod's collision light maps and multiple materials so let's get to the point and start this video so origin and shading for some reason unity don't love me at all and i never actually needed custom origin and this is why I got really really mad while trying to figure out what to do so I'll just start all over again because I did it once and I found out the way how to do it just slow poly 2 so this is our main object for shading you don't need to do anything so pretty much how you shade it and how you import it that's what you get so no fuss about it no problems with it you know, shading is nice to you. Shading is your nice sibling that wants to play with you, wants to have fun, and Origin is like your, I don't know, younger sister that wants to be cool. I don't know what I'm saying about it. You know, I'm a little angry about it. You know, I lost some time for recording. But uh, we're not gonna go into it. Uh, I'm okay. We're gonna find out how to do it. I mean, I already did, but you know. So I joined my objects for, I don't know, you don't have to, but I did it for my own pleasure, you can say. So what you do is you control, I mean shift A to add a plane axis. So wherever you put this axis is gonna be your origin. But first you have to like select your object. Then secondly select the pivot thing, I mean empty entity, which is gonna be your pivot. And then you do control P to the object. And lastly you apply rotation and scale. Now you're gonna have your origin. I mean, this pretty much made me really, really. You you can say stressed out. I got a little angry, and you can see I tested it out. So, but I'm gonna delete it. Doesn't make sense if I do it like this. So, where's my thing? Sorry for like I don't know what I'm saying. I just got a little bit frustrated. You, know? you have to understand me sometimes. And now as you can see where I put my thing is my origin and congratulations to us. I mean, it's really bad origin. Again, I, I do this stuff like it's noticeable. I can make it perfect, but you know, sometimes it's a little small difference that you don't notice and you don't learn anything. I'm making something that you can notice so you can see it works. So, and let me just show you sh the shading. Sorry for blabbling, you know, I got a little bit, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so as you can see, my edges are pretty sharp where they have to be. Let me just do it like here. One, one second. As you can see, I put some hard edges here, which makes my object perfectly shaded. And let me jump to scale. And hopefully I didn't like made you guys cry or something. So I'll be back in one minute. Next up is scale, so I'll make my object actually pretty, pretty small so you can see the difference. What we do is pretty much the same thing we do with Unreal Engine, so Control A, I do this every time just in case, like every engine I, every engine I actually worked in, I think he needed it, but you know, I do it every time just in case. Anyways, right now these are our dimensions and our object's pretty much gonna be really small. Now when we, I uh, did that, yeah, actually did. So when we export FBX with our perfect scale grammar, first off, let's not export it like this. Come to my, uh, you, can, you can say FBX tab, and there's this experimental apply transform. Check this, so leave it like this and export it like that. Because if you don't do that, as you can see, I already tested it out. Let me just delete all of them and I'll delete them all here. As you can see, I did it more than once because I'm a little bit dumb. So if I import it like this, it's actually really, really small, which we wanted to. And, is it, and if you can see, our scale is one, 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 and the rotation at zero, zero, zero. In previous versions of Unity, 
the rotation was, I don't know, minus 90, which made a pro problem for programmers. Now it actually works perfectly, and as you can see, my Y axis is act acting like Z axis, which is also good. You can see it's scaling up and down because Unity uses Y for up and Blender uses Z, but you know, the FBX does its job, and that's it for scale. And next up is LOD. LOD is level of detail, what do, does it do? If you didn't watch my Unreal Engine 4 video, I'm gonna still explain it. So level of detail, if you're more closer to the object, you'll have its full poly count number. So in my case, seven and a half thousand faces. If you go further and further, it's gonna go less and less, which makes it more optimized. So I'll just control D to duplicate this and I'll hide the first one. So I'll name this gun underscore L O D with big letters zero. That's it. So underscore L O D really, really important. Naming convention in this one is important. So I'll call the second one, which we can't see right now. I'll just decimate it like last time. L O D one. And if I see it and I'll hide the upper one. And if I do modifiers, decimate it to something noticeable. Somebody in my comments said something about, I think, light maps, why I made them really bad. It's just so you can notice. I know that was really bad unwrapping of the light maps, but I just wanted to show you that the, what I'm saying actually works and it will work every time. So let me just show this. So LOD1, LOD, I mean, I did it. <laughs> I'll just rename them so. This should be LOD1 because this is the decimated one, and this should be LOD0, which is our hero prop. So this should be 0, and this one should be 1. So for this, guys, I'm low, I don't know. I'm still reco uh, recovering from the pivots, you can say. So 1 and 0. Now ex just export them together. We'll call this one. Uh, uh, should I be like grammar perf? correct for this time I mean trailer is too much for me I guess so if I import you're gonna see the this the writing every time oh my god so LOD is zero so if I pull it inside you can see unity automatically can see it so I'll just pull this somewhere here as you can see it says zero one and it changes actually let me let me just do it even closer so somewhere here so you can see that and if i come closer it's really hard to notice it but thankfully we have the writing down the yeah lod one and thing so you can like you, you can still see it it's pretty like boxy right here so that's pretty much what we do for lod's remember naming convention that's it next up is collision so we're at collision and let's do the same thing what we did last time i'll make two colliders so you can see how to do it with multiple ones you can make one but you know like the difference between unity and unreal engine is like lod's need the conven naming convention in the unity and in unreal engine they don't and for the collision it's pretty much separate you don't need collision naming here so you can name this anything you want so i'll actually make it like this I'll go to the edit mode and make my two colliders something like perfect like this and I'll just do it like this and I'll name them I'll just name them colliders call I'll just call I'll call it call to show naming no in, in importante perfect so I'll just export like I'll export them together, FBX, I'll call this one. Why do I shift everything? I don't know why I'm naming like everything like I'm yelling, but you know, first time for everything I can, you can say collision. I'll be, I'll be gram grammarly correct, correct this time and continue blabbling like I do in my every, every video, I guess. So I'll just need to calm down a little bit, I guess. So where is it unity collision so if i import it i'll have something like this and you're like that's not what i wanted and i can see my scale is still working perfectly so i'll just open this tab in hierarchy 
I guess you say it like that. And I'll say cold show importante. And I'll say where is it? Mesh render. Don't no you actually yeah, I think you don't you don't render it. And you add a component physics mesh collider. And if I do this, voila! If it's green, it means it worked. If there's nothing, that means it didn't work. So this right now is your collision, I mean custom collision, and as you can see, it's not, not hard at all. What we have left is light maps and multiple materials, and I think I can actually cover them in, in one like go, but no, actually, I'll just do them one by one. So next up is light maps, and let's jump, let me jump right to them. So light maps are pretty much the same thing like in Unreal Engine 4. So if I have my, let me just see my UV map, UV editor, this is my UV map, UV map for my material. But if I come here to this triangle thing and I go to UV maps and if I add a second one, the second one will act like your light map every time. Because I got criticized last time, I'll do something like this yeah no actually that you're not gonna i mean you you actually can't see the map for unreal for unity for some reason you need those plugins and that's the reason why i don't use unity that much but you have to take my word for it i'll i'll show you the actually says one and two uv maps so first map is always your uh, your material map and second map is always your like light map i'll just do something like this actually some uv map and i'll do uh, i don't know something like this so it has more space yep ugly as before and if i export this and i'll call it light maps yep and if i jump to my unity and if i have my two folders with it pop every time let me just where is it light maps unity there we go you can see my collision is still there. I'll just delete it. And if I import it every time smaller and small, no, it just goes away actually. So if I click this and if I press here, you can see from my activate windows, let me just, okay, I can like, actually, I think if I do this one second guys, uh, yep, no, please, no, can you work? Uh, Unity is not friendly anymore. It was. It never was actually. What am I saying? Okay, if I do this, yeah. So you can see, I have my UV zero and UV one. And if I press this one second, while my voice crack like every time, you can see my uh, generate light map UVs is off because it's gonna use the second map. So hopefully you understand what I'm saying and don't get confused because I can't show you. I can actually, but I need to download some plugins that I saw. I'm not plugins, I don't, I, how do you even call them? I'll just call them plugins actually. They, 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 people are actually getting money for it just to see my second UV map, doesn't make any sense. But you have to take my word for it, it works, trust me guys. I never let you down, so I'll, I'll never let you down anyway. So let me go to the multiple materials and I'll see you soon. So multiple materials are the last thing on the list and for some reason I separated these two so I'll just join them together. So the principle is pretty much the same. If you have two or more materials here for some for for demonstrational purposes I'll make this and I'll pick the things like the last time. And somebody told me something about separate objects. You can actually just join the object here, but you know, it can join automatically in Unity or Unreal Engine. That's why I don't waste time on it. So I guess this should be my one ob material, I'll call it the big one material. And I'll hide it and I'll call this delete and I'll add a new and I'll call this less parts. And I'll join it so, you know, you can see it actually works even if you join this. Let me just do it. Export FBX. Unity multiple plus multiple materials. 
And if we jump here, and as you can see, my light maps is still there. Delete. I'll just make this a little bit bigger. And if I do light maps, no. If I do, where is it? How did we even call it? Uh, we called it this. <laughs> and if I do this. You can see I have less parts and big materials and it's one object. So if I separate it, it actually will have more separate objects here. But if you want one object for multiple materials, that's it. I can even show you, I'll just do control this and if I export it like this. So this is multiple objects, multiple materials with multiple objects. Perfect naming, yeah. Cringe never ends in this channel, I guess, so the hit the big name. So right now, if I do this, you can see I have this, this, and wireframe of the first one and the wireframe of the second one. And this is using one material, and this is using second material. So this is for multiple materials, multiple textures, and I'm starting to blabble. And this is for one one object, multiple materials, as you can see. So Hopefully you like this episode. Hopefully it is gonna help a lot of you guys. I certainly even learned, learned something. <laughs> the pivots, my biggest enemies in Unity. Thank you for watching and I can say thank you for the support. It really means to me and I'm really happy to see that people actually like using Blender, are giving a chance to Blender even in the gaming industry and there, there isn't like toxic people, everybody wants to help everything, which makes me smile. I'm making free tutorials for a reason, as I told you, I did. I had to learn everything by myself. And now I'm making a platform where people gonna have everything needed for implementing Blender into the video game industry. So enough of my, my blabbling, as you can hear, I'm already losing my English. I'll see you in the next episode, which is gonna cover how to do it, how to go from Blender to CryEngine. And after that, I already got some stuff people want want me to make and uh, like modular part, mod blabbling is bad, modular parts. So uh, I already have a list for next videos and it's gonna be fun. This is actually pretty fun, even if I get frustrated sometimes, but yeah, hey, it happens. So I'll see you in the next episode and leave like, share, sub, anything you want to, and I'll see you later.